Hello, this is Dr. Garrett Castleberry, Program Director for Communication Media and Ethics here at Mid-America Christian University. I am here with our week three uh, video discussion prompt. And before we get to this week's discussion question, or should I say questions, I want to take a quick moment to comment on the Spencer writing well in the 21st century texts. Uh, we haven't had a ton of time to talk about it because technically we are in an online format, but I do want to applaud your ongoing efforts working with this text, uh, reading it, and uh, the, the discussion questions you continue to, to churn out. Um, one of the areas we want to seek improvement with, not only in uh, our communication program, but also in the university at large, is our, is our training and our familiarity and our exposure to uh, quality writing styles. And um, that often starts with good grammar and um, it's important that we work through this this book and that we that we try to keep keep a good attitude about it and that is not that is not meant to be a negative reflection on the book in fact i find it is uh it it reads at a at a at an encouraging level um but it's not just uh, useful for us but essential that we improve these skills and even coming out of our discussion question from week one, uh, you all reported back on the skills that you're looking to improve. And so it was a positive reinforcement in that, in that, um, in that line of thinking. Uh, think of this book as uh, an answer to uh, and a response to to also um, an assessment from our faculty here, right? That other faculty and other departments and programs, they collectively recognize we want to see an improvement in student writing skills. We want to develop stronger critical thinkers. And so books like these help us cross that threshold. Uh, not only that, it is... Uh, both useful now and it will serve you later so please uh, keep up with the weekly readings from the writing well um, Spencer book and it's going to it's going to provide an important resource not only in the short term but also in the future something you can re-reference and and when when you read any book any large text certain information will stick with you and other information has a tendency has a way of passing on but keeping with the book keeping it available to you is going to allow you to reference it in the future so good job pushing yourselves uh, in progress of that book now, one of the things we are looking at in week three is uh, another chapter from Pop Culture Introductory Perspectives, and uh, with the Denny C. text, we are jumping forward to chapter 11. Chapter 11 helps us pivot to, um, to more of a digital conversation when we talk about digital media literacy, and that's important. That's an important next step for us um, to talk about how popular culture itself evolves as in response to as a result of the the rise of the internet and the way digital culture um, cultivates right to use that same root term cultivates new new preferences new experiences and new content and so i'm going to provide a string of questions for this week all right here we go Pay close attention, I'll read them twice. A string of questions, and this is a bit of a tease, right? This is getting at something we want to take away from this course. Um, but we, we, will, we will discuss that at a later date. But for now, here we go with a string of questions for you to um, tackle in your video response this week. And let's definitely aim for that healthy, robust, uh, you know, two, 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 two to five minute range, right? If we can get it up to that three to five minute range, don't be afraid to expand upon any of your responses rather than, rather than just giving us the simple one word answer, okay? So look for creating discussion in your responses as so long as we're, we're you know, we're, we're, we're keeping it keeping it in balance with the others here we go first what is the earliest media event you recall seeing 
All right, so when I when I say seeing, uh, we mean firsthand exposure. What is the earliest media event you recall seeing? So it might be on something on television for most of you. Uh, it, it certainly could reflect something from the um, from from newspapers, maybe radio, and. Uh, Quite possibly for, for the youngest of us, it could be a media event you, you gain first initial exposure to online. Um, but whatever that is, what is the earliest media event you recall seeing? Second, what is the first TV show that you can remember binge watching? Okay, so binge watching, a unique phenomenon. Technically, we've been doing variations of that for years and years, uh, going back decades. But it's, it's a term that speaks to a certain kind of uh, technological advent and access and exposure we have now. So it's a very 21st century type of uh, uh, cultural term, if you will. So, the first TV show you recall binge watching. Let me ask this question as a bit of a comparison contrast to the one about binge watching television. Have you ever watched three movies back to back to back in a theater? In a movie theater, okay? So, a lot of times there are those instances where maybe we have seen two back to back, um, but has anyone ever conquered the three P? Uh, not the same movie necessarily, and although that could count, but uh, have you ever done the trifecta in a theater on the same day? It will say same day, even if not back to back, right? In realistic terms, you got a break for you know eating or whatever, shopping. Okay, uh, let's see. Third, what is a viral video that you both liked and shared? Okay, so fourth question. Name a viral video or describe a viral video that you both liked and shared on uh, social media. Fourth, fifth, fifth. Oh, we've got so many questions. I'm confusing myself. <laughs> Name the last news channel or news website you visited. Uh, or perhaps we should say, and when, right? And and we're developing a timeline here, so this is not a, we're n this is a, this is a judgment-free zone, okay? But we're interested in the last news uh, news channel uh, or program, if you can remember, um, news channel or news site you visited. And finally, when was the last time you finished a novel? Now, we all know you finish books regularly for class, wink, wink, right? You make it all the way through. You don't skim or skip over any of the nitty-gritty there, including those dense uh, indexes. But when was the last time you finished a novel? Do we know? Okay, so really quick recap. Uh, what is the earliest media event you recall seeing? Uh, at a young age. Second, uh, name the first TV show or television program you binge watched as, as we refer to it in the 21st century. Third, have you ever watched a three pack of movies in a theater in a, either a single sitting or uh, a single day? Uh, fourth, name or describe a viral video you both liked and shared? Okay, fifth, what was the last news channel, if not news program, or news website you visited, and when, if you can recall at all, was the last time, Judgment Free Zone, that you finished a novel? We've got a lot of, uh, we've got a lot of content to cover, but we always pile them up on week three. It's very exciting. Love hearing from everyone's responses so far. So far, I look forward to seeing your video posts and reading your reactions as well. Thank you.